Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Abby if you're new here and today I'm going to be doing a review on Provanto. And before we get into the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more planty content from me. So I wanted to do a review on Provanto because I honestly haven't found a product this good before. I was blown away by how amazing it was. I was expecting it to be well, I don't know, I wasn't really expecting anything, I was just expecting it to be okay, but it was, it honestly saved my collection and I can absolutely guarantee it was this product because to give you a little bit of a backstory, I I found out I had a thrip infestation, it affected a quarter of my collection um, and I have probably about 100 plants and it, it was my variegated monsteras, it was my variegated syngonium, it was, it was all the, the more special expensive plants to me but the the stress that came with it with it being on variegated house plants was also how those plants would react to treatment because obviously my syngonium is um predominantly white it's like it is heavily variegated so i was really really worried about it so before i bought this i tried everything else um i didn't i don't know why i didn't want to bring in a chemical like um treatment if I could help it. Um, I have animals in the house, although they, they're they in my living room and I did this in my bathroom well away from them and they don't ever go in there. It was okay, but I just, I don't know, I just didn't want to try a chemical treatment. And I think that's because I worked it up in my head more than I really needed to do. Um, re needed to do? <laughs> more than I needed to. Um, so I eventually... Um, I tried soap and water. I tried the, the soap bath method, you know, when you submerge a plant fully, like roots and all in a soap bath. I, I tried that for all of the ones I could physically manage, the smaller ones. And I did this like four or five times. This thrip infestation was massive. Um, nothing was helping and it was so disheartening. So I got on Amazon and I bought this um, this product, Provanto. Um, I bought this for six pounds. Um, I was too stringent to pay two pound fifty delivery or whatever it was. Um, so I click and collected, um, and it came within two days. Luckily, it said four days, but it came within two days. And you can see, like, I've got about half of it left, and I've sprayed nearly everything in my house down with this, um, well, plant related. Um, so. Yeah, I tried various methods to try and get rid of thrips and nothing was working for me. Um, so I I did, I just went with this. I've got everything that was, I clearly infestated and had problems into the bathroom and I gave them a treatment with this once. I gave them one treatment. Everything else I did a different day and I did with a neem oil, um, almost a, like a preventative measure. So every plant that I couldn't see any thrips on, saw no damage, wasn't in the vicinity of the other plants, I gave them neem oil. Um, but yeah, I gave the infestated plants this. So I was really worried about how to actually treat my plants once this arrived. I thought I'd have to do some mixing, you know, just kind of like water with some parts of this and stuff. Um, it wasn't the case, this is like a ready to go mix it's got your spray on there like everything is ready to go you just literally have to spray your plants down so i sprayed my entire collection that was infestated front back stems every every part um and but what i did do was i made sure the the soil was covered so i i covered the soil i actually started with putting just like tape over um the pots and then a bag around it just to make sure this wasn't the amount of treatment i was doing i didn't want it to go into the soil and put potentially like damaged roots or anything I don't know if it would I don't imagine it would but I just didn't want to risk that and I couldn't find anything on the internet like guidance wise and this is originally for outdoor plants but obviously it can be used indoors as well um so yeah I followed the instructions and I just I just sprayed it, it with all my plants that were in the bathtub I just sprayed them down and just left them I left them there overnight um just because I wanted to make sure they were fully drained. Although, like I said, my animals are in another room and my my quarantine station was in the on the opposite side of the flat. I didn't want any kind of drippage to go on the carpets and anything. I just thought, I did it at night time. I left them in there and it was fine. 
Um, the reason why I did it at night time is because once you do this, you can't really, you shouldn't really be putting your plants back into sunlight or under a grow light. Um, so doing it at night time is best. That is how I did it anyway, because I was at work all day and that was just kind of like how it worked for me. And once I started looking into it, because I did obviously do a lot of research beforehand, everyone says to do it at night time. So luckily that's what happened. Um, so I left them in there overnight. Once they had completely dried in the morning, I had just put them back and then I just left them there. Obviously I was checking every day to see any like progress and everything. I'm not joking, literally from the next day, I had my torch behind my like, um, my leaf, you know, just so you can see like the thrips, like from the other side, there was nothing there. There was no thrips to be found in sight. However, we do know they have a particular life cycle, so they can come back quite quickly. Um, so to be safe, I just left them there. I left them there for like two weeks. As I've actually still got my variegated monstera there. So it's been, I think that's been there for four weeks now. And everything else, like my um, variegated syngonium, everything has been moved back into into place because the thrips have gone. Like, honestly, <laughs> one treatment of this and all my stress went away in regards to my plants anyway. Um, so I, I honestly cannot recommend this enough. Like, on my channel before, I've spoken about um, soap and um, water baths and all of this lot. And that worked well for spider mites. But looking back on it, it was a lot of faff. And yeah, like I think this, I don't know, I, I don't see myself going round and I use neem oil and I use that kind of treatment as a preventative measure. But if I find I have spider mites, aphids, thrips, whatever, I have had them all this summer. If I, or even winter, it's winter and they had thrips in the winter, which is so annoying. But if I ever find I have an infestation of any book next time, I am using this. This is amazing. Um, but I, yeah, that's it. It's literally, I can't say enough about it. It treats so much, um, so many different kind of like bugs you'll see on here. Um, it says the white fly, um, lily beetle, caterpillar, black fly, kills most common pests on flowers and other like edibles. So you can use this on your vegetables as well. Um, so yeah, there's, there's nothing more I have to say on this other than it's brilliant. Don't put yourself through any stress if you're if you're trying um, for your indoor house plants anyway. If you're trying kind of like soap and water methods and neem oil and nothing's getting them because I, I honest to God nothing was getting rid of those buggers for me and I I was trying repetitively. Um, so yeah, I can say and I vouch that this doesn't affect and harm your like variegated house plants. My variegated syngonium, my variegated. Um, um, on Stara, they're all absolutely fine there's been no damage from this which is what I was actually really worried about I was worried about it burning the white part of the leaves and it hasn't at all so if you want to watch the video where I do kind of go through a bit of a, a full kind of like journey process on how I got rid of thrips I'll link the video down below and also up in the cards just so you can have quick easy access to that but if you have any questions about this product or anything, put them down below and I'll I'll answer them as best possible. But I just, I feel like this is, and until you watch or do some research, you worry yourself about using harsh chemicals. And obviously it's not preferred. It's obviously, it would be great if there was a natural method, but in certain circumstances, this is the only thing that worked for me. So I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any questions for me to answer on this review and I will go ahead with starting to answer these questions for you and hopefully this will help you further. So the first question was, how long do you leave Provanto on for? So I, um, before I had it, um, I thought you had to put it on with it being chemical, like spray it on, leave it and then wash it off, but you don't wash it off. You just spray it on, leave the plants to dry and then you put them back in place. So it isn't a, um, it isn't something where you have to kind of like worry about being around to rinse like the, the product of the plant or anything. It's just completely spray on and leave on. So the second question was, is it safe to use on variegated house plants? So like I've covered in the video already, I did have um, a various number of variegated house plants. It is safe to use, um, which is quite, um, it's very welcomed and it's quite surprising to be honest, because I've got a variegated raindrop, which I did a, a higher concentrate soap and water spray method on it. Um, I'm talking about four months ago and it burnt it, like it completely just like burnt whole, like 
like really like ugly brown spots on this plant it completely ruined it um so i actually used provanto on this, the same plant because i knew it was a sensitive plant and i wanted to see knowing it, it was already a bit of a goner i wanted to see how it handled it and it handled it completely fine even on a sensitive plant and on all my variegated plants as well there was no damage to the white parts there was no damage to any of the plants so that was a big thumbs up for me because that was one of my biggest concerns so another question i got was where i bought this from so as i mentioned just in the video now i bought this from amazon um, i'll put the link in the description down below um i'm sure you can get this from garden centers um or kind of like places like wilco's or anything um and i do know you can buy this in the us I can't tell you where though, because obviously I don't have that knowledge, um, but I would always just recommend Amazon. I'm sure they have like it available on the US Amazon as well. So one of the other questions, which is a really good question, was is when you spray it, is there a really like, heavy fume that comes off it? And I think a lot of people are warned about this when they have Pronto. And it did, um, when I was using it, and I was like, you can see the bottle, like I've used like a lot of it. And um, I was, at the end of it starting to feel like I wanted to choke it was quite fumey um and you're meant to do it in a room where there's like lots of ventilation and windows but I my bathroom doesn't have windows and it's definitely something I'm looking for in my next place because I love I would love to have plants in my bathroom but I don't have windows so I couldn't open any windows um I made sure the doors were open and like I said my animals which this is toxic to were in another room but it was it was fine. I just used it. I just kept the doors open, had the extractor fan on, and I I was okay with it. There was like no like damage caused to me or my plants. So another question was, do you spray this on the roots as well? Um, I don't think you are supposed to. I can't give you a a full answer on this because what I did to uh, like avoid it going on the roots was I used the kind of method to cover the pot so um, we use this as an example I literally just put like like parcel tape over it so no leakage could get in and I also put like a bag over it as well Um I didn't want to risk it but I didn't I don't see how that could be a problem if it does like spill on there a bit but I personally just avoided it touching the soil and the roots. And the final question was, will this work on aphids? So yes, absolutely. This is designed for like the majority of like bugs that we get in our house plants and outdoor plants. So I've been told it works on aphids, spider mites, thrips, um, white fly. And there's like, there's a long list on um, the bottle of what it works on. Um, but I personally would go off if it works on thrips, it works on anything so i would definitely like for six pounds if you have like aphids or you have spider mites which it's known to work on it's worth giving it a go um because i don't know anyone that hasn't had any luck with this and if i'm honest i thought i'd be going back and doing a second treatment with it which is why i kind of like use it sparingly because i wanted to be able to do the same plants again like a couple of days later and it does suggest on there you can do it another course after like so many days but i didn't i didn't need to do it so i didn't i didn't bother um i think what i would probably do next and like i said i treated them weeks and weeks ago is probably the neem oil kind of soap method now, just as a preventative measure, because obviously there's no signs of thrips anymore. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on how you feel. And don't forget to subscribe because it would mean a great deal to me if you could. And I'll see you on the next one.